extra minutes. When the story broke, uh, how did you feel? I was quite shocked at how um, it had just gone right across the whole country in such a short period of time. And I felt, uh, I felt trapped. I was in Sydney at this stage still. And all I wanted to do was get back to Queensland. You said you found yourself in the most peculiar position on a, an aeroplane. Yeah, I'll never forget that morning. It was uh, the first flight out of Sydney, about six o'clock. And for some reason I was positioned between these two people travelling together. And with Qantas, they give everybody a newspaper. And here I was, front page. And these two had a, a bit of a banter over the subject. And I remember her leaning across to her friend and saying, look at this idiot. He knew the reputation of this guy, and yet he still worked for him. What a... Let off a few words. Dickhead. Dickhead was one of them. <laughs> and then she thought it'd be wise to include me in the conversation. And she didn't realise who you were? No. And I just... Uh, reminded her that there's always two sides to a story and uh, tried to sleep. You didn't out yourself as a dickhead? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, as much as I wanted to. Uh, probably would have made her go to sleep herself, but um, no, it was, it was an awkward morning, but I can tell you as soon as I got home, I was relieved.